Last time on Long Distance Dungeons and Dragons Dinner Theater. Alec and Viva traveled to Manitas. After celebrating in the Tin City, left for Fossi, but battled a war party of blind primitives before stumbling into a Medusa. Osk entered the Kelnaran Crystal Chamber, only to be asked to leave by three older armed gentlemen. So he headed back through the desert to his abandoned dead shark body, and swam back towards Southport. Aristophocles and Kit continued to track Albert in the forest outside of the folk, but Kit somehow managed to get lost. And now, Long Distance Dungeons and Dragons Dinner Theater continues. You can roll another survival check to look for Kit. My mom said when I get lost at the mall, I should just stand still and then she'll find me. So I'm gonna do that this time too. Alright, Kit wanders off, gets lost, and then stands completely still until someone okay, finds no, him. No, 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 I'm gonna climb up a tree. What was your survival check? I rolled a natural 20 and totaled at 29. Yeah, you yeah. totally found Kit. Now roll me a perception check whenever you find the tree Kit's hiding in. Alright. Roll me one also, Kit. Oh, can I, like, jump down on him? Only if you roll a perception check that proves you see him. <laughs> Alright, you have followed Kit's tracks to this patch in the woods, and then all of a sudden they vanish. Huh. What do you got, Kit? 18 plus... Alright, although Kit up in the tree does see you following his tracks and, like, looking around like an idiot, like, where'd Kit go? I'm trying to find if I have something to, like, drop on you. Well, I guess now's my time. When you're in a tree, you could probably, like, shake a pine cone loose or an acorn. I don't care what kind of tree yeah. it is. If you want to throw up something at you, it aristocracy is all allowed. Can you sense kids anywhere about, Billy? Yeah. I'm shaking the tree branch. So you're making noise. That's making easy for Billy to hear you. Perception isn't bad. So, 19. Yeah, Billy tells you to look up. Roll a perception check. I see Yeah, roll a perception check as you look up. I'm going to be silently snickering. Kit, roll a strength check to see if you shook loose an acorn or a pine cone or whatever you're trying to shake loose. A pineapple. I rolled a 15. 9. And what? Strength? So nothing? Alright, so Kit is unable to shake loose any fruit to fall upon your head. But you do look up and see him shaking the branches above you. So I tell Kit to, uh, let's say, hey, uh, let's not think about, we need to get on these owlbears before they, uh, Wake up? Through. Yeah. We, don't, we, we don't want to be caught off guard. Oh yeah, yeah. so is it, it's daytime then. Yeah, right, well, can daytime. I hop down? Yeah. In some kind of, oh no! <laughs> Draw a natural one? All right, Kid hops down and takes four damage as he breaks his ankle. No! Reducing, oh remove. Breaks it. Yeah, reducing. You just hopped out of the top of a tree. Dang reducing God. your move speed. <laughs> reducing your move speed by ten feet per round. Oh no! Uh, also, at the same time, I rolled a high enough percentage that owl bears are showing up. Fucking cow. Let's see how many owl bears are showing up. Four owl bear are encroaching upon the area. You guys, you just saw Kit fall out of a jump out of a tree and hurt himself, and you're walking that direction. And you, at the same time, you see four owlbear coming from the other direction. As you get the fuck out of here. Look it's out. in between oh, you and the owlbears. Okay, I'm going to reach into my bag, pull out the owl food for Dean that I had saved from the porcupine hunt, and then grab all this owl food and, like, throw it, and we're going to run the other way. All right, so you're going to, like, leave something to, like, try and stall them. Not leave. Hurl this owl Jack food them. in the opposite direction of where we're going. I mean, you can throw it ten feet. All right, excellent. I'm going to throw... I'll say with a 15 that you rolled 15 feet. No, but still, yeah. You used to be. Yeah, you chuck, you chuck some meat behind you. Yeah, classic Brian. Uh, you chuck some meat behind you. You throw meat, and then you guys flee the other direction. Is this what's happening? Yep, we are All right, roll percentage chance. See if that works. Yeah, they don't care about that shit. You guys are moving. You guys are moving target. You're live food. That seems way more appetizing. They're not carrying you. They're not here to eat just dead old meat lying on the ground. They're in it for the hunt. They're still coming. What do you guys got? Uh, kids, uh, move speed is reduced right now, so they're definitely gonna be able to catch up with you guys in one round. They'll be on your ass. Gaseous form. Okay, kid. Kid goes in gaseous form. Aristophanes goes in gaseous form. You guys try to escape in your various directions. All right, I roll a percentage chance to see if you guys are able to get far enough away before they... All right, just barely. You guys resurface and you're like just us. You can even still see them. You got just far enough away that you can see them and they can't see you. Uh, Kit's ankle is very badly hurt. So you got a minute away, you resurface, you got a hurt ankle. Maybe not broken, but definitely sprained, injured in some way that's reducing your move speed for... It's like sprained. For like six days. For like a week, you're going to have reduced move speed until your ankle heals up. Literally, I see what you did there. 
<laughs> the ideal is not to be going not to be going toe to toe with these guys are too strong. Yeah, we didn't want to fucking see. We need to get one isolated, I think, by trapping it in a bear trap. See where that takes us. Right side. That just taught us that owl bears like to hunt and they'll chase moving targets. So we could summon animals to like lead them in a direction. This is gonna be really complicated, which makes me think it's a bad idea. We're not good at complicated plans, Johnny. We need to see like, really like, I think the trick is to make them complicated but not too complicated. Well we know that they will chase something, so we need to figure out a way to like smartly get them to chase a thing. It's like bait? Yeah. Into a trap? Yeah. And then get them to like run in the direction of these bear traps. We both have uh, summon nature's ally. Yep. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Um, alright, well, well that's gonna let's be... Let's them down until they pass by and then set up our traps. Because you're gonna pass by again, dude. Yeah, you set up traps in, in the same area. I mean, the one good thing about being attacked by these avatars just now is you know they're active in this area. Yeah. Right. So it's probably a good area set of traps. So you wait till it settles down a little bit and they leave the area. If I have to wait less than 24 hours, more like 16. You guys wait in the same area or do you leave and rest and come back? Or? We can leave and rest. We're, we can like... And recover. Completely recover. Yeah. Yeah, so you go back to the other forest, the eastern forest. There are two forces, a road in the middle. This western forest seems to be more active with owlbear activity. Whereas the eastern forest seems a little bit quieter, although a little bit more a little bit more overgrown and, a little, you know, not a beautiful looking forest at this point. Uh, but so a little safer. Uh, you guys are staying in this area. That's where your hut is. You're hunting over here in this area, especially up here near the river. Do we just go back and sleep? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll try and bait them into the traps we just set tomorrow. All right. Yep. So you do set the traps. You, how many traps do you have? Um, we have three each. We each brought one, right. two, or three. Yeah. You yeah. Have about three. So each of you can need to roll three survival checks to set them up. Which you're pretty much fine. You just need to beat a 10, really, to not fail setting it up. and need to roll again to waste another hour trying to set it up. If you roll a 1, you're going to get hurt, but otherwise you're okay. So we're doing what? Survival? Yep, three survivals, one for each trap. Natural 20. Uh, Boom! Kisses of the first trap like aces. Um, 13. You yeah. fail, you got to spend another... You got to reset it. Try again. I'll help you. I got 14 and... Or 18 and 15. Yeah, all those are good, so... That's right. So then Kit comes along and helps you. I'm like, bam, bam, bam. There they are. Nice. Kit's apparently set up bear traps before. I did not know that about Kit, but it's apparently a bear trap savvy. The next one was a 26. Yeah, you get the hang of it. Kit showed you his trick with the first one, and you're like, oh, you just do this? And you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it a quick tutorial. Now the student Now the student has become the master. <laughs> I rolled another 13. You want to help again, Kit, with the last one? You know, the thing is you have to stick your tongue out like you're trying really hard. That's the key. All right, so roll your check to make this efficient. Nine and fifteen. Why is it so hot? It's so hot. I grew up in the woods. You grew up in the woods, yeah. So with Kit's help, you can do anything, because Kit's amazing. So you guys get all six traps set up, and then you head back to your lean-to semi-hut in the We're eastern forest to, to rest. We're going to pray to meditate and, has, and, and get some sleep. Uh, yeah. We're going to need all cylinders fire up here. All right, any specific, um, any sp specific prayers or anything? I know, inspiration against owlbears. I don't know, what are, I, I would specifically ask Gozra if uh, I could get a hint as to any weaknesses owl, be, owl bears might have. Alright, roll me a diplomacy. Yeah, can I second that motion? Yeah, you guys can roll diplomacy to pray for owl bears' weaknesses. It's just 20. for some reason. Alright, Kit is not very informative on the matter other than like, mm -hmm. you know, they seem scary. Uh, Aristophanes will say, well it seems they, they seem to be the apex predator oh, of this yeah. environment. Shit. Oh, shit. They seem to be the hunter above all hunters. They could eat anything they came across if they wanted. It's like trying to kill humans. It seems like they've recently be they've recently become very well established in these woodlands, obviously. But they're aggressive. They're yeah. savage. They have very short tempers. They're bloodthirsty killers. They'll attack without provocation. Slaughter any living creature that crosses their paths. Aristotle will notice that whenever they did attack you guys, right at the moment when they attack, their eyes kind of roll wildly about in their heads. Like their eyes go like all googly-eyed and weird when they're about to attack. Hmm. Like they they lose control when they go to attack. He would also pick up because you guys went out during the day and these albos were out. You can't rely on the fact they hunt in the day or the night. Yeah. It seems they kind of hunt depending on when the prey is available. They don't keep regular hours. They hunt whenever they feel like there's something around they could hunt. Also, with your hunting and getting close to the river in the mountains, their lairs are probably in the caverns in the mountains. That's probably where they hole up and sleep when they are sleeping. Dance. That's probably where their young are, yeah. They don't seem to be out in the forest. They don't have any large nests in any trees you've seen. You've seen no marking of them in the forest. So it's safe to assume they don't live underwater, so if you're going to guess where they came from, it was probably the mountains. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to spill the beans. 
All right, you tell kid the this things you've deduced. This is what we can expect, and this is how we track them. All right, um, you, guys, you guys want to rest for the night a, after that? I have an idea. Yeah. Um, we can use, uh, one of us can, I say we go back to where we set the traps and stake out in a tree in some sort of stealth form. When we sense them coming, we can summon, uh, a creature, a moving creature, in the vicinity of the bear traps, try and lure them into getting, I don't know, one or two at least caught. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, so do you want to do that? you want to, like, are we going to the trees, or are we going to, like, cast the animal and then, like, leave? We should stick around because we're gonna have once the so the way a bear trap works is that it just traps the it, it catches the bear and it traps it in one spot. We're still yeah, they're still alive. It's gonna take it out. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna so yeah, we're, we're gonna have to stick around. Okay. All right, so you guys rest a little bit and then return to your traps a little earlier than you went out yesterday. Your hunters, you know that. Well, roll me a climb check to get up in a tree and then a stealth check to hide there. Fourteen. A natural, a natural one? natural fucking one. I didn't know they're dice. Climb check was a natural 20 or 21. Dope. You guys both get up a tree just fine. Now roll your stealth check once you're up in the tree, Aristophocles, to see if you're hidden well enough. Natural 20. Oh. Uh, total 22. All right, well, Aristophocles double 20. He climbed really well. He hid really well. Kid climbed okay <laughs> and then immediately gave away his position. Uh, it disappears to be a uh, group of squirrels that are living in this tree that were disturbed by Kit climbing it. That are now throwing acorns at Kit. This is still kind of cute, though. <laughs> yeah, of course Kit can acrobatics to a tree. He's been doing it his whole damn life. He can do it in his sleep. He can do it without rolling. I don't even know. You could just be like, I have a plus 15 and just do it. I have it. a plus 18 on yeah, acrobatics. Don't. Just don't roll. Just roll and don't roll a 1. You're fine. You made it. Well, well, broken ass character sheet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, happens. That's why I make you roll. Uh, so Kit makes it safely to another tree. Roll a reflex save to, of course, land on a branch. Eight and seven. Just barely enough. Kit just barely lands it. He leaps to the tree really well. Just barely sticks his landing, though. He's left the tree with the squirrels in it. Roll another stealth check now, Kit, to actually be hidden in this tree. All right. Three and... 18. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so we're hiding. As long as you don't roll a one, you're good. All right. It happens. It okay. does happen. All right, all right. We're in the trees. Okay, so can we sense them coming? Roll me a survival check while you guys are hiding to wait for these bears to show up, and then maybe perception to like look out for them and shit. No. Survival just to be make sure you're in the right area. Eighteen. I mean, you're around your traps. So. Seven survival. All right, you guys hunker in. You kind of been hunters for a while. You know where how long to wait. Be quiet and just sit there and drink 40s or whatever. Oh, you do I that. Hunt, yeah. yeah. So I, is that what happens? I'm Who knows? Go. You're rolling a perception to see if you see owlbears yet. Fucking natural one again. Kid don't see shit. Oh, Kid fell asleep. Are you, are you, is your dice weighted? I rolled a five, so. Yeah, yeah, and you don't see it either. So you guys have waited there for a while. You don't see any owlbear approaching your traps. At least not yet. Can I, can I ask Billy if he senses any? Bears. Can he give us a heads up if any I mean, he can by? fly around and telepathically tell you within a certain range, like 100 feet. It seems pretty quiet around here. <laughs> can we roll another perception check? Yeah, I mean, you can keep rolling perception checks all night. It's going to take another hour of percepting and then another hour Oh, percept- another hour? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you got hours. I got hours. What else are we fucking doing? Apparently nothing. <laughs> 16 and 11. All right, what do you got, Aristophagles? Natural 20. <laughs> Boom! Total total. Uh, you see two juvenile owlbears, not full grown. You see two uh, like very young owlbears wandering around the area of your traps. Like babies or like like teenagers? toddlers. You can't attack that. I bet I bet people would pay good money for juvenile owlbears. Now that they're near your traps, I have to roll six percentage chances to see if any of your traps managed to capture these little baby owlbears. Ninety-eight. You got one. Oh no! I don't want to do this. Ninety. You got two. You caught two baby owlbears right off the roof. Caught in a bear trap, like, <laughs> screeching in pain as their little baby legs get caught in the clamped teeth of the bear trap. We have to stop this. They're screeching in pain. Kid seems really affected by the fact that you've trapped some toddler owlbears. Aww. They were just out for a little romp, having fun in the woods, playing, learning how to hunt. Let's go, uh, let's go capture them. I mean, they're in a bear trap, so they're not going anywhere. 
Yeah, they have about that, they can move at about a five foot radius, and that's about it. And then they're like stuck into the ground by a spike that you guys have placed. <laughs> we're about we're, yeah. I think that if there if there's babies around, then there's like big ones that are really close by. So we either leave these babies here screaming to attract the adults, or we snag these guys and run into town. So let me say this: uh, Aristophanes is currently chaotic evil. Oh. Oh. So I'm in favor of using these juveniles to attract the more adults. evil option. So yeah. do, you, do you express that to Kit? You say we should just let him. He's like, no, no. Kit's like, I'm really worried. They seem really hurt. And he's like, no, no. Let him scream. Let him scream. The parents will show up. This is how it is in a while. All right. This makes me sad in real life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see how many show up. Uh, one adult owlbear. Uh, plain in color, uh, very dull looking brown and grays, no, uh, probably a female, yeah, Phoenix. probably a female, uh, does arrive. I say we go after this one. It's isolated. It's, we, we, we wanted to get one by itself. This yeah. is no chance. Yeah, let's do it. It comes toward his babies, does not step in a bear trap, it is frantic and angry. It does seem very worked up, of course, as any mother owlbear would yeah. be when its cubs are in danger. Understandable. You have range attacks, right, kid? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's attack him from the tree. I have a huntsman sling that's got a plus two on it. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. do that. You're gonna sling it? What you got for bullets? I got wood bullets. <laughs> sling it. <laughs> and I got eight horns. We, we do have to roll for initiative, to be to be fair. We're, we're still in the trees. Is that thing yeah, but you still roll. Like I don't know. I don't know unless out. I don't know until we roll initiative, and then I have to roll things for that to happen. It seems like. It would be ang- the thing would be angry at the It bear is traps. angry and it's concerned about its children. It's like it doesn't know how to it's not clever enough to free its babies from a bear trap. It's like looking for who's responsible at this point. Like, how is it clever enough to look for who's responsible besides the thing that's immediately attacking the babies? I got twenty one for initiative. Oh, I got seven. What you got? There's- Alright, so the owl bear will get to go first, the mother owl bear. Uh, but I will let her spend her first turn freaking out, trying to free her children from these traps. But they're a complicated mechanical device, and she's a dumb animal, as far as I can tell from her intelligence score. <laughs> which is a two. Um, so yeah, she can't figure out how to free them from the traps, so she's just starting to freak out. She seems to get, be getting more and more agitated. Right. Take it, baby. But I will, even though I got initiative and should attack you guys first. Hey, uh, I'm going to cast a spell. Uh, flaming, I'm going to throw a flaming spear at it. Uh, Flaming Sphere, Rolling Ball of Fire does fire damage, 3d6. Flaming Sphere, yeah, I do get a reflex save to negate it. I have one reflex save to make. I rolled a 16 plus 5, so 21. Can I use that means this opportunity to throw down an anti-hero point? You can. You can. That means I will take a negative 8. Which I could either I could re-roll and take a negative 8, but I'm a lazy DM. So I'm just going to take a negative 8 to the thing I already rolled, which makes that an 8 plus... Five, so thirteen is does does do you beat thirteen with ten plus two plus uh, your yes. wisdom? Yes, that's over thirteen. All right, well then, then it is successful. So now you're gonna do three d six damage. Yeah, Mister Evil. An innocent woodland animal was burned alive, and it was kind of my fault. So. All right, so do your damage. Yeah, do your damage. Three d six. Fourteen hit points off the owlbear. I think that I took that. Surprise strike is my mythic. So what I want to do is cast magic stone on my sling bullets. Do you have a uh, spell component pouch maybe or something like that? Yeah. yeah. We can assume you have stones in there. We've already talked about kid collects stones. Okay, cool. So we can say you might have some pellets. So instead of one of your wood, bullet, wood bullets, we can say you have six stones in your, in your pocket that you can use. After that, you're out of stones until you pick up more stones efficiently. Okay. Okay. But for right now, we can assume that you've always carried six stones in there. Okay, okay, so... The trick yeah, is, yeah. casting magic stones is yeah. standard, so you only get one attack after that, yeah, right? Yeah, and we'll... But then you'll have two ready for your next two turns. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is All right. just do one? You can do one now, and then one next turn, one next, but you're going to go ahead and make three of them. three. Yeah, you're going to do three of them, and then shoot one this turn. Yes. And then shoot one the next two turns. Yes, All right. that's what I was saying. All right. And then do two next turn. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve... Yeah, 12 is a miss unless you want to surge it. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah, let me surge it. So, so use the second mythic point. Yes, sir. Uh, 12 and 6, so 18. That's a hit. All right, so now you do what? All right, so now I 1 do 1d6 plus stone. 1. Okay, so each stone that hits deals 1d6 plus 1 
Yeah, one d six plus one. So two, one, three. Excellent. Dean is not going to attack because this is just a giant. Dean's bug. already said he's staying out of it. Um, hey, uh, Billy, you want to attack an owl bear? <laughs> I'll say that Billy's willing to do it uh, as long as you remain in his good favor. I mean, I think I think you've been feeding him pretty regularly. So yeah. with a nineteen and a regular fairy feeding, which you've been doing. So his natural instinct is going to be to um, sting the owl bear and poison it. He's going to fly in, try and sting it, and dart out, sort of like a hornet. Well, it's going to create an attack opportunity because you're going to move in and try to get away unless you can roll like an acrobatics or escape or something to get away. But you can roll your attack and then try to get away in one turn. I'll allow it, even though I shouldn't because that's technically two standards and a move. You're moving towards him now. For all I know, Billy's invisible. Billy could be right up in, his, in that owlbear's face right now. So I'll roll percentage chance, and if Billy was already up in this owlbear's face, I'll allow it. And if not, I'm not going to. That's going to be two things in one turn. I rolled too low. I rolled 25. Billy can move in this turn, and then, but he can't move away this turn. But you can go in and attack and then try to escape next turn. So he's going to try and sting. Alright, so roll the attack for Billy. Yeah, 17. Yeah. That's still a hit. Believe it or not, I came out with a 4. So that's a 3. Okay, minus yeah. 2, so that's still only 1 damage. Uh, minus so one. The, but then it's, I gotta have to do a save for the poison. But let's take the 1 damage from the little sting from your dragon. Uh, for Fortitude, I rolled a 19 plus whatever my Fortitude is, which is higher than 14. So I am not poisoned. But Billy did go in there and try. You gotta give it to Billy. Billy doesn't usually get in there and yeah. uh, and, and mix it up. It. He's in the fray right now. So he must be feeling some sort of camaraderie towards you. You guys have been through some shit. You've touched a crystal now and he's seen it. Yeah. Usually he's like, give me a fairy snack first. But this time he was yeah. he was yeah. all for it. So no. you gotta, gotta give him that. Well, lucky for you, I rolled a five. So it's not able to attack you, but it's like, it does like run towards it. It senses the direction the fireball came from. Um, it's kind of freaking out. Like there's something around it, like it stung uh, we're it. still hiding in the tree. Yeah, too. no, no, I'm saying like it doesn't know where you are yet. I rolled a five, so it's not going to attack. I'm just saying like it's like freaking, it knows something's attacking it. It just got stung, something threw, threw a fireball at it, so it's freaking out even more. Like, uh, it's spreading its area instead of just being worried about its children caught in these traps. It's now like looking for whatever is attacking it and its children. Whatever invisible enemy it can't see. So it is like... Freaking out and like looking for what's causing this at this point, so but still does not attack. But yeah, it goes right back to you guys. All right. Can I roll that concentration check? Yeah, keep your sphere alive. Yeah, yeah roll um, plus wisdom. So I get a thirteen, and I would like to surge it. You only need two to make it sort of work. 18, no. Yeah, yeah, you're good. All right, Thumbs so up. I hit it again, so three d six damage. I get a reflex save still. This is like last time. I rolled a five though, and my reflex is not as high. It's not that high. That's a twelve. Noted. Billy's gonna move away. All right. I'm gonna ask Billy to move away. I don't want to risk him. All right. I'm gonna see. Uh, I roll percentage. Chance. He's invisible, so I roll perception, which is too low, and percentage, which is too low. So he, he's able to escape, and you can probably get him to attack again, but it's gonna take an even higher diplomacy next time. All right. Yeah, I figured. Kit. No, it's worth a try. He proved he's part of the team. So my attack oh, yeah. is what? B A B plus was it a melee attack or ranged? Range. So Dex. B A B plus Dex. So four plus four plus eleven. So eight and eleven, nineteen. You rolled a four? Nineteen is a hit. Yay. Alright, so my magic stone is so I guess I'm gonna do one D six plus three. Oh, because one plus two. So eight total. Eight total? Not bad. Yeah. For stones? From a sling? Yeah, that's pretty good. But now, is that all three of your stones? Or is that yeah, so for my swift action, can I like, duck down like, and try to continue to be stealthy? Stealth. Once you attack with a ranged weapon or a melee weapon, you've revealed your position. Okay, so my stealth is 18 and 5. Of course. Of course it is. Yeah, you're fine. I think the souls know where the fuck it's being attacked from. Cool! Um, is Billy gonna attack? Woo! Poison didn't work. Poison did not work Billy on the owlbear. He stabbed him, but oh. the poison was not injected or didn't get through its yeah. thick or whatever. Okay, turn. All right, so I was gonna see Aristophanes, and I get a 16 plus eight. So was that 24? Nah, that's like three. Four. 24 to get Aristophanes as it leaps up into the tree at you and starts not necessarily climbing as much as it is like jump climbing. Was he that, shit, was he that close to me? Yeah. Does he actually grab me? It's like, like swiping at you. Yeah, I rolled 24. So yeah, it's definitely yeah. a hit. Yeah. That's so it hit. claws at you. One of his claws, it jumps up and does 10 damage as it swipes at you. It's probably like right at your Achilles tendon, man. 
It's like swipe to your foot. 10 damage. Yep, 10 damage to your foot. 10 foot damage, man. Moral percentage chance see if it affects your move speed. Oh, God. You and Kit both are going to be like limping. Kit's already got like, what, five days left of limping? Yeah. Or uh, 87, so yeah, you're going to limp. For at least two more days, you got to cut in your foot to make you not walk well. You're going to lose like most of your move speed. You're going to move five foot per round at this point, unless you're gas. Check. Deal check. You got a good, you got a big cut on your foot, so walking around is not pleasant. Well, you can only move five foot per round unless you do something to your foot to make that not be a thing. We can heal that after we kill this Molly. So whose turn is it now? Okay, so he knows where I am right now. Affirmative. Oh, yeah. It's coming. It just jumped at you. It leapt at you. I'm gonna cast an entanglement spell. Ooh. I got a reflex save to have partial to have partial save. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying right, to trap so I get a out. reflex save for the mom. I mean, they, well, I can pretty much assume the kids who are already bear trapped are going to get trapped. They're already trapped. Yeah, they're going to be double trapped, basically. You're going to double trap the babies. I got a natural 20 for the mom, though. She totally cool. Bat, 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 bat. She hops right out of that shit. Fucking thorn. She's no big deal. I'm an owl bear. My mom's cool. Natural 20. Don't give a shit about your entangled shit. Can I use my, so I just use my standard action. Correct. Can I use a move to try and, uh... Acrobatics away? Yeah. Yeah, from a two like two different tree. Do you want to jump to a different tree? Do you want to jump down? Per our usual arrangement for jumping from tree to tree, I need an acrobatic save or an acrobatics roll to jump to another tree and a reflex save uh, to land it. Acrobatics is gonna be a twenty-three. Nailed it. Now land it. Twenty-three. Nailed it. That's beautiful. You're a great tree hopper. Can I hold up a 10 card? You're in a different tree than the owlbear was attacking before. That's nice. Uh, only within like 5, 10 feet, you're not very far away, but you're in an adjacent tree. That should buy you some time, if nothing else. Alright, so I'm going to oh. um, not worry about doing the, a spell again. I think I'm just going to do my wood bullets. Okay. As yeah. a, a double attack again. Alright, so you use another mythic point? Another one. I've got 7. It's fine. 17. That's a hit, I no, believe. No. So these guys are these are only one D four plus two. Oh, that's because if I'm tracking it, but if hit four, it's would we get that plus two. No, you only get it if you track it before. You haven't tracked it yet. You have to roll survival yeah. to track it, and so far it hasn't moved, so you haven't really needed to All track right. it. Alright. Damn it. One and three. So four damage. Four damage. Man. I know it's past my turn, but can I ask really if he wants to do anything that with a diplomacy check, you can as a swift. I'll still allow it. He's still in the rotation. As long as you do it, as long as you do it before I roll, you're good. And I haven't rolled yet. Can I, I'm gonna, I mean, I have a plus 18 on stealth, so can we just assume? He already went in for one attack, he seems more reluctant to go in for the second. He's like, I did my part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. I rolled too low, roll a 12. Can I do a storm burst? As a storm druid, I get storm burst four times a day outside of my normal spell slots. Um, 1d6 damage, plus one for every two cleric level. Um, if it's successful, the target is buffeted by wind and rain. It means they take a negative two penalty on attack rolls. I rolled the 90%, so yeah, the weather is... Uh, you can totally do this very easily. Gozer, the weather is thumbs up. Gozer approves. Nice. So for the surrounding yeah. area, you're going to cause there to be bad weather, at least for a period of time. Plan is to use it if I can land it and then charge it with mythic power. Well, you can land it You device. can land it easily, so if you, you can land it right now, roll that, and then add some d6s to your round of surges if you want. No. Original roll. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to have to surge it. That's a one. Um, I'm going to surge it one, let's say, one time. Aristophilus does his four damage with a storm burst. So when it attacks us, it's takes a negative two penalty. Yep, because of the wind and rain and shit. Well, I had six, so never mind. I'm going to do my spell, and then my first magic stone. Did my magic stone spell, my three pebbles again, and then my second attack because of my mythic ability, I'm using a point and shooting it. So you're shooting one stone this yes. turn. How much and damage do you do? I that time, and That's so a hit. I'm going to be doing 1d6 plus one. Is oh, six. Damn, that's a good one. Seven. All right, you hit it like square the forehead. Nice. That's a good hit, Kit. All right. I respect um, that. A good shot. And we're gonna just like not get Billy to do anything, right? Billy didn't want to do it. He tried. I think yeah, Billy was like, Billy, Billy did his thing. All right, so Albert. I rolled a twenty-one. 
I'll roll a percentage chance to see if this is going down or not. But he has All right. to get to me first. The owlbear uh, moves over to Aristophilus' tree, it tries to attack, swipes at his foot, no, came, comes shit. very, very close, could have done damage, barely missed you. You're lucky. So I'm going to storm burst him again. Just one plus my surge, which is going to be two, so a total of three. Uh -huh. That's exactly enough to make the mother unconscious. She's it's all non-lethal damage too. So here's the thing: you have a totally unharmed, uncut, because you shot stones at it in Stormburst. You have not pierced the body of this adult female owlbear at all. You have a pristine condition adult female owlbear and two toddler owlbears that kind of have fucked up legs. So you have at least you have an hour until she wakes up. I'm not really sure why, but for some reason I've got 60 sleeping pills. <laughs> Crazy old kid. Uh, so, all right. So you you, you want to sell a live grown up owlbear? Um, no. Oh, I can't do this. It sounds ill. Whenever I was about to say it, I was like, "That's really dark, Liz." So, <laughs> <laughs> so I think I was worried that you'll change kids' oh, alignment if I actually do it. Say, well, you know. Well, say oh, it. come on. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious well, now. I have like so many fucking sleeping pills. I was like, maybe. You Sleeping pill suicide the mom and then like drug the kid so we can take him live and <laughs> I wanna roll a percentage chance. Because the mom would be like unharmed. I rolled a ninety-three. If you were willing to sacrifice all sixty of your sleeping pills, you can suicide well, not suicide you're still murdering her, but you're painlessly killing the mother owlbear. Okay, alright, that and, better. And you'll have enough sleeping pills to make the baby owlbear fall asleep so you can easily Take them away. I still need you to roll something like a reflex save or a sleight of hand to like get the pills into these. These owlbear babies are still alive and awake. Amen. The mom's asleep, asleep, so you can like shove pills down her throat. I'm cool with that. She's not just asleep. But she's like taking she's a dirt nap. Well, she, no, she has an hour. Okay. She only has an hour until she regains Both health points, and then. Wild empathy, guys. Come on, you're both druids. Come on. Well, everyone's unconscious, oh, right? Well, except the babies. You could wild empathy the babies, but they are caught in traps, so it's gonna be harder because they're in an agitated state. They're yeah, yeah. That's where you're at. You can easily, I'll say you easily, if you want to use most of the pills for that, I'll say half the pills for the mom. Kill the mom. Just kill him. What else are you going to use these pills for? Yes. yes okay. So you, you put 30 pills down the mom's throat. She's not going to wake up. She's in the deep sleep. Mom, nice she's mom just is not gonna wake up. <laughs> not ever again. Oh. She's just having a long dream. This feels bad. We'll see. I haven't changed kids' alignment yet, but he's, he's definitely, you know, that's a weird spot for kid. Uh, but now you're on to the two owlbear babies, who, are, like I said, are still kind of agitated and awake and alive. How are you getting the rest of your remaining? I think it's 15 pills each. Is that what's left? Yeah. So yeah, you need 15 pills each for these babies to be sure you get them asleep enough to, to get them into town without any kind of dis- you, also, you don't have any cages or anything, so this is the easiest way to get them into town. I don't want to kill them now. Well, you're not going to get money for them dead. No. Their pelts aren't big enough for anything except baby coats. Um, so we have like calm animals and charm animals. Maybe we need to like chill them out first. So can we like one at a time like, calm animal, shove pills down their throat. Calm animal, shove pills down their throat. Alright, are you each casting Calm Animals separately on one owlbear, or is one of you casting it twice? How are we doing this? Yeah, because I only have one on me, because well, right. I've already cast level one. So I get, what, a will save for that, I believe? I'll get, do the one for Kit first. It's Will. So I got 17 versus you. That didn't work! And then I rolled a 16 versus you, Aristophocles. 17. Alright, that's enough. Aristophanes is able to calm one of the little baby owlbears. Do you want to do a reflex save or a sleight of hand, or what do you have to like shove some pills down its throat really fast? You got some kind of skill you can use to shove pills down a baby owlbear's throat? Disabled device. It's calm, so. Uh, yeah. You got some assassin shit? You I'd buy do that. Bluff. No, do, treat, pretend like the pills are an airplane and do bluff. And bluff, I would buy if you have that. <laughs> and then, like their pills. Yeah. Hey, right. kind of I, 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 I get my things modified. I'm just, I don't have any other skill that would apply that would help yeah. me out here. Pinch his cheek so his mouth opens. To me and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can try and trick it. It's D&D. If you can roll it well enough, I'll allow it. Six. No. 
You're not, those pills don't go in the owlbear's mouth. Okay, yes. So right. anyway, Kit's going to put the sleeping pills inside of the one of the, you know... Porcupine liver? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Shove it into the porcupine liver and then try to feed it to this one again. All right, what's that, a handle animal maybe? Can it be a bluff check? Because I'm like lying to it about it being like... I'll allow a bluff check. Two plus eleven. <laughs> no. I get an attack of opportunity. Damn it. I rolled a 19 versus Kit's AC. Which is fucking... Redonkulous, actually. Yeah, of course it is. Fucking it's kid. uh. <laughs> I hate Kit. He's. I'm gonna kill Kit so soon. You already killed Kit. I already did kill Kit. I'm gonna kill him for real this time. No. Oh, you yeah, put it out. <laughs> I kid. But it's 31 because of some badass armor that I have on. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, Stupid are you Kit. serious? Hey, okay. Can I search that block check? Search whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna do that. So what did I do? 15? Uh, 14. Uh, no. <laughs> fuck. 15. Okay, I give up. No. <laughs> that wasn't working. All that same stuff still happened, and now you're two surges less than you had before. So I've got like two surges left. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna be just outside their attack range. Are you gonna sleep arrow them? Yeah, I'm gonna try and stab one with an arrow. Eight. That's a miss, yo. How is this the hardest uh, fucking part of this whole thing? Fuck it, let's try it. Let's keep stabbing babies. <laughs> okay, so... I love chaotic evil at least. I have sleep arrows. I have two hands. I'm tempted to say fucking let's kill them and just take They're what we can They're worthless dead. Oh, oh, you, don't, you don't get the money. You don't get money for dead Yeah, they're worthless if they're dead. And isn't one animal death enough? Oh god, it was in front of them. You did kill her mom in front of them, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I want to kill them both. Kill them. They're stuck in a trap. Just fucking couldn't grab them. They're borderline helpless. You don't need to kill them. Can I, I'm going to storm burst the one in front of me. Okay, that's not, well, that's not lethal. That's actually good, because okay. all it's been, it's like oh, electricity is going to knock them out. out. Okay, okay. And it's a guaranteed hit. Six damage on the, uh... Owlbear Juvenile. Yep, I got Plus, you. Plus, uh, negative two penalty from attack. Alright, yep. can I take a 20 on Handle Animal because that's a thing that I have? Make yeah. these assholes eat those fucking sleeping pills and just let us steal them into town. Done with, like, being in the woods in the storm trying to kill them. Or not kill them. Alright, I'll allow that for the one nope. you're dealing Time with. Up. Okay, one! One, one Owlbear! Over a longer period of time than it may take Aristophilus to finish this owlbear, I don't know. It's gonna take you a while to take a 20 on that. So in this period of time while Kit's trying to calm down this other owlbear, what are you doing with this owlbear you're dealing with? So she's using a uh, handle at him. Yeah, yeah, she's taking a 20. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. Then... After you zap your guy one time, you wanna also take a 20? Alright, you guys spend the next three hours calm these motherfuckers down, get them to eat pills. Like, you don't even get the whole handful down at once. You're like, here's a pill, and then there's another pill. It takes you three hours. Finally, you get your little baby owlbears to fall asleep. You can tell by their heartbeat they're not dead. So you got one big mama owlbear body, two little babies sleeping, their legs are kind of fucked up, but. You don't want to turn this in for the competition? I mean, do you want to? All right, yeah. let's go win this competition then, and then sell the baby. Yeah. So, um, do you have an, uh, any level one spells left? Can you like summon an animal or something like a horse, and we can like? Um, I can summon a horse. Can we put the adult on the horse, and then we each carry a baby? Or... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I right, so what are you guys' oh. base? What is your strength score total? Ten. That's enough. That's the average human strength. Let's have to carry an animal, baby. You might get tired from doing it, but you can do it. It's a baby. How heavy is your backpack? I mean, like Kit owns some fucking. Nothing. Oh, you're fine. Kit doesn't own. And Aristotle has that ant hall belt, but he's fine. Alright, we do that? You guys go back to the town with your two babies and your adult. Yes. You guys are the frigate of, uh, of the folk. Same deal with the ice slats. They recognize you, let you guys in. You're always welcome. You go straight to the Hunter's Guild. You turn in your kill first. Yep. Alright, you turn in your mom bear kill. That's been submitted as one of the entries for the prize. It'll be measured. Everyone take turns mounting it. What's the poundage, man? Uh, I want no poundage. Uh, <laughs> like, you want to weigh it? You want to weigh yeah, it up? So it, it, let's put it on the hook. Yeah, how how heavy is it? Like, this is like the governor's cup. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 <laughs> here we go. Weighing it up right now. Wow, guys, you got a pretty big mama. Ooh. It is 1,455 pounds. That's huge. It's huge. That's a big mama. Oh, our experience, Brian. Thanks oh yeah, you do get experience. What That's is correct. Kit needs some. 
Uh, you get 1,200 each. All right. Nice. I mean, you would know that's on the large side for an owlbear. Maybe she was pregnant with another set of twins, but... Oh, God. That's a, that's a big owlbear. <laughs> like I said, I rolled, a 90, I rolled a 97. The highest I could roll was 100. Like, you were at the 97th percentile of owlbear right now. Uh, so unless anyone else submits an owlbear over that size, which means I have to roll over a 97% with however many people end up enrolling in the entire contest, which is very unlikely to happen, you're pretty close to as good as it gets for owlbear size. Don't want to jinx it, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting on the contest results, you want to go sell these all beers? Yeah, it will help with my guilt. I you guys I already talked. You already talked to a guy in the market. Owl bears are prized, uh, like, like guard dogs almost for for wealthy people. So who sell yeah. the shit where? Let's go, let's, let's, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, we have so much money, we can't fucking carry this. Shit. Yeah, you gotta fucking spend money right away. Put more into this creepy ass bag I carry around. We're gonna have to figure out the mystery of this bag. Eventually. If you leave gold in there, it just gets swallowed. So the longer you leave stuff in there, the more of it disappears. So it's like a, I think a five percent ah. over right, here. Well, let's I have to go. look it up again. Again, but let's go sell these um, children okay. then. You guys want to go to the same guy you talked to before? Yeah. He's offering a thousand for these juveniles because they're injured. Uh, bro. A thousand each? No a thousand each. Can I uh, use my heal kit on them then and be like boop 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 You can roll a heal skill plus two for the heal kit, I believe. Ten plus can twelve, so I have twenty-two. Right? Yeah, kid's really good at healing. So one of these owlbears is healed up fine. He'll, he'll agree to jack it up to 1,500 for the one that's got bandaged up. Are you kidding me? I just brought you two. He's giving you 1,500 for the healed one and 1,000 for the not healed one. That's 2,500. That's a lot of gold. Can I heal the other one? Yeah. You got a kit? You have a heal kit? Kit? Take them off and sell them in front of them and be like, this comes from good stock. Yeah, do you, yeah, can we tell, can we diplomacy tell them about the mama bear, about how, like, how huge and crazy she was, and, like, that can be part of the provenance for these animals. You can try with a diplomacy check. I have no diplomacy, Aristophanes. You do have a mythic, what did you use mythic points? I got two. Well, you have that new mythic feat that gives you a plus 20 circumstance two. bonus to charisma. Two. Yeah. All right, I'm Seems gonna like a perfect time to shot. use it. I'm gonna be like, no way. For the other one that's Because that seems like a good argument. I'm gonna be like, well, they're... They're twins, that's cute. Sell them for a fuck ton of money. To, for plus their mom is really awesome. She's really big. Their mom is huge. Good God. Even with your plus 10, that's only a 14. That's only 14. You got one more point left to surge it if you want. So if I get a 2. If you get a 2, it'll be better than a 15, yes. I get a 4. Alright, okay. that's good, yeah. that work? Nice. It worked good enough uh, that you're going to get 3,000 for the pair. Well, these have got amazing genes. But they're also and injured. two of them. One is injured, well, and I can fix that. We're gonna sell them singularly, probably. No one usually buys two owlbears. One owlbear is enough trouble. Exactly. So, so when are you gonna ever get the opportunity to have two fucking owlbears to resell? That's twice the money that you're not used to getting. I'm giving you twice the money for two of them than I would for one. Yeah. Imagine uh, it. So that would be. I have a heal skill. I'll add that. To Do you have a role. kit? Do you have a heal kit? Because if not, I won't give him any HP back. But it might bandage him up some. Can we go? Can we ask for four? Can we heal this guy and ask for four? Can I use a regular healing potion on it? Yeah, that's magic. You can give it a magic Blue potion. Two D eight, I believe. Yeah, sounds right. Which is so, enough to heal all its wounds. Pretty sure, three, unless you roll two ones. Five. So it's a little, it's a little better. Three thousand one hundred for the pair. Then you've used a healing potion on it. You don't even know, yeah, you don't even know how you're going to store this 3,000 gold. You're yeah, like, I don't even know where we're going to put all this money we're going to get. You well, want more money? Because they're so greedy. Well, you're yeah. still, still going to get more money from the contest if you win the contest. You got experience points. You got, you're getting like basically 3,000 free gold for these fuck two it. babies you didn't have to even kill. Yeah, fuck it. Sell them. Get rid of them. This is turning out to be Fuck it. Yeah, done. 3,100 split it even, Stevens. That's all right. Does that give you enough money, Aristophiles, to buy that thing you wanted to buy yet? Stick, Hurricane Staff is the way cool the name is. Stormstick. Seven thousand. It was seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand one hundred and fifty or something. And so now you got fifteen hundred more. And um. Right, but what about the uh, hunters challenge? Yeah, we'll get money from. You that. gotta wait a day for that. Well, I'm gonna wait a day to see how that goes. That's true. So let's go ahead and see what comes of that. All right, so you guys wait until the, you guys wait until the trophy challenge is over, the end of the week. Can we We're go also to, can gonna we go to meditate and pray to Gozer. Yeah, right yeah. Go and you get to go learn that hymn. Let's not forget to learn that hymn, guys. All right, so you were learning what is called the hymn, the hymn of wind and waves. 
So if you have a successful either knowledge religion, religion or a uh, concentration check, which is wisdom, uh, plus the poem, the rain is raining all around, it falls on field and tree, it rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Uh, you'll be able to calm a waters or shift the tides whenever you're in the open ocean. So as long as you're on the ocean, you can use that as a goes for him to either calm the waters or shift the tide up or down. I, I use that for I currency it. Oh. and stuff too. Any kind of like any kind of Gozra ocean related thing you really want to do. If you're in the if you're in the open ocean and you use that poem and roll a good enough DC, I'm willing to like make stuff happen. Okay. Eleven at the end of the contest, there are eleven people that submitted owlbears. If I roll ninety seven percent on on any of those, someone else will win. Okay. Twelve. That's number one. Seven. That's number two. Tiny owlbear. Seventy one. Number three. A bigger owlbear, but not big enough. Fifty. Medium sized owlbear. What number is that? Four. 27. Four. No. 48. Six. 61. Seven. 21. Eight. 77. Nine. 68. Yeah. 27. Woo. You guys won 2,000 more gold. Can you get that right. dang storm stick now? I'm earning all this gold, but I can't carry it around. Like, I need to figure out how to move what I earn from one store to another. Yeah, here in town, that's pretty easy. Like, if you have a, a credit at the Hunter's Guild and you want to spend in the market, that's not a problem. Yeah. yeah. Like, so within town, as soon as you leave town, even towns with town with banks, it's easier than towns without banks. This is a pretty small town, and if you have money somewhere, it's pretty easy to move around. Or like, Steve has, Steve has our credit, and they're yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah Steve got it's it. It's a halfling town, yeah. So if you have someone willing to vouch for you that someone owes you this money, you're fine. Uh, if it's a halfling town, I hope the guy's name was like Big Steve or something. Of course. <laughs> Big Steve. Big Steve's halfling. outlet. <laughs> yeah, so we got twenty two fifty in the bag, plus seventy six gems. Plus, plus three thousand plus two thousand. Plus two thousand. So you can totally get that. You same. can totally have enough money if you're willing to And have two hundred and fifty gold left over. So you have eight thousand and something. Yeah. So subtract seven thousand one hundred and twenty five from whatever you have total. Put you guys at very little gold, which is good if you're traveling around. That's fine. Is okay, some that's is wait wait is some of this gold in the bag? Oh, oh I don't yeah. know. One time. Okay, that's better. I rolled a one this time. I rolled a DM natural one. So you do it. If someone's willing to risk it one time, I'll allow you wait, to wait, draw the you amount just, of gold like, you D20 need to. Twenty rolling. Um, right? Yeah. Oh well, if you get a natural, well, what I don't have to roll. roll anything at all. Because <laughs> I'm, it's one turn. You have to tr try one risk. Um, yeah. Was yeah, well, so twice shy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you like sing that to the bag to calm it down? It's your stick, you do it. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Are, are you okay? If, yeah, yeah. Well, you can, do, you can have all the money, you can get that stick. It. You've done a lot right. for, for Kit in his lifetime. Oh, uh, you reach in, you're good. Hey! You're ah. able to withdraw oh, the. You, so you, you, you reach in really fast and scoop out as much gold as you can. You just, and just turn the bag upside down. And it, shit. Yeah, it just happens to be 2,000 yeah. of the gold. Okay. So you're I able to. Yeah. You now have a hurricane quarter set. Um, are we good, kid? What else do we want to do? We were going to rest and regroup and re-pray to Gozra and get all our spells back. Alright, so after all this hubbubaloo, you guys spend your money and you go back to your little lean-to hut in the forest and rest up? Yeah. Cersei, Harlock, Juan have just come back from Fossa, which is now merged with Fossi. Meanwhile, you guys have had some recent celebrities, some recent fame. A local wizard by the name of Sazerac the Great has followed your career somewhat, has read some stories in the National Inquisitor, which has reported several events that many of your company has been involved with. But, Sazerac the Great is around in town, he just witnessed you guys, uh, the town's emerged with Fossa, you guys are heroes, your names are known throughout the town now, and Sazerac the Great is seeking out Cersei, the magnificent swamp witch, who he's heard a lot of things about, and uh, has has caught wind of the fact that you guys are staying just outside of town. And a witch hut's pretty easy to spot. They're like mud huts that are just really fancy mud huts. Do do you have detect magic or anything like that, Sazerac the Great? You got anything like a? Uh... All right. Oh yeah, I do have detect magic. No, yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing my uh, cloak of the hedge wizard. wizard. All right. So, do you yeah. wanna? Is that like? Do you wanna cast that? Was you approach this wizard witch hut? Yeah, I'm gonna cast that. You shoot. You're about sixty foot away from the hut. 
you've been concentrating as you've been approaching, you've been thinking you're getting closer and closer to the hut, and then as you've approached, you've been doing the spell. So you've been doing it for a short period of time before you even approach. Does your hut have alarm? It yeah, does. Alarm. And you've, before you even approach the hut, you notice the presence of very many, very many magical auras. More than one present inside the hut. Uh, one very, very powerful aura inside the hut, which you would probably assume is Cersei, the most powerful aura inside the hut that you've detected. You can, you have like radar, like as you're approaching this hut, you can sense them moving around. You kind of know where each person is in the hut. You've already like sensed their different magical like, like, auras. You, can, like, you get like Dragon like, Ball Z specs, you're like, yeah, that's a level, right that's a power 600 over there, that's a power 300 over there. Uh, because he will, okay. uh, as he's detecting magic, sense the aura of some protection magic on this hut. So as you're going closer, you know that either there's a trap or an alarm about to go off, and as soon as you think okay. that to yourself, an alarm goes off. A magical alarm starts sounding, alerting the people inside the hut of someone, of the presence of someone outside the hut. Do you guys want to roll a perception check inside the hut to, re to see if you hear the alarm? Or if you're too caught up in drinking games, or... Uh, that's a 19 perception. Uh, 19. Uh, Morgan got 21. Yeah, every, so it sounds like everyone heard the noise of the alarm. I mean, it's an alarm. That's kind of the point. You know something's going on outside. If you guys want to roll a perception check to see why the alarm is going off. Uh, no. Uh, Cersei, I am wearing my full-on Dracula cloak. I walk out with my side. Which is dripping blood. Still dripping blood. And I might as well go ahead and uh, just uh, hex fly myself. So that I'm dripping black ooze underneath me as I float, float above the ground. All right. Maybe like five feet off the ground. All right, you come out of the, the hut feet. like real creepy. Like, are you conveying a message? Like, why? Like, what's the point of this? There's gotta be some yeah, reason you're I'm doing this. All right. So I still feel like I still feel like. I still feel like this is an intimidation check on some level. <laughs> do you really want me to roll intimidation? I know, I do, I really do. Right, right, right. Yeah. Alright, alright, hey, dude. I can't. Right, so, fortunately, I just rolled 29 on intimidation. Alright, so, Sazerac the Great, you wanna roll me a sense motive? Uh, seven. <clears throat> That's that's okay. That's good enough. That's good enough to get the point that Cersei's a, a great witch in her own right, and that's you're a wizard looking for more knowledge. She's very powerful. You want to be more powerful because you're a wizard. That's just your natural. You want to learn the magic. She's obviously a great witch. She saved the town you live in. You were obviously intimidated by her and her big blue titties and her dripping blood scythe and her creepy her creepy black aura that she has. Very intimidating. I'm gonna tell Morgan. You can make a single firearm attack and choose part of the body to target. So you do have to shoot him to do this. Yeah. On a hit, the target takes no damage but drops one carried item of the gunslinger's choice. You don't even know if he's carrying anything. Yeah, what, well, what's the point of shooting him? Why would you shoot you don't even, You haven't even done a perception check to see if he's carrying anything. No, no. Yeah. I, it could be like walking up empty handed, you're just like shooting the arm for no reason. <laughs> In your hand. Oh, yeah, I am just carrying my quarter staff that I also use like yep. as a cane. Alright, we're shifting up, but alright, wait. Uh, well, this is like a walking wait. stick. Why? He doesn't seem to be aggressive, he's just walking towards your hut. I'm just walking because I'm like in search for Cersei. Yeah. So, or Morgan just got a turn. I'm just gonna cast a quick uh, uh, hex sleep on Morgan. No. Alright, Morgan gets a save. <laughs> That's going to be an intimidation check on Morgan, then. Yeah. Alright, you can roll a counter-intimidation check against Cersei and beat 26. Morgan pulls her gun, Cersei sees it, is like, put that shit away. I could drop a flash of omniscience, which is one of my uh, mythic spells. It just automatically adds 8 to anything that I roll over 10. 
so I can just do that. Do you want to go to the maze again? Do you want to go to the maze again? Do you think you can <laughs> Oh, he got a two. Uh, that's still a four down. That is not enough. Stay fucking down, Morgan. All right. I think Morgan gets, Morgan gets the point, I think. Very reluctantly stands down. I think Morgan even still has her gun out, like, finger on the trigger, like, just give me a reason to shoot. Morgan's Morgan's in the doorway. Cersei heads outside. Morgan's in the doorway, finger on the trigger. Roll me a perception check, Sazerac. Uh, 18 plus zero. Don't have any So 18? That's enough to see what's going on. So you see all this happening. You see someone in the doorway pointing their gun at you. You see Cersei coming out. You're with that with about thirty feet away now. Gun, gun being pulled. Cersei saying, "Stand the fuck down." Yeah, just someone behind her. You. Yeah, yeah. You see, I'm, definitely I'm some. Coming up, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 hey, 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 no big. All right, no big diplom- deal. diplomacy Cersei. check with no, no big. No. What's that? Roll me a diplomacy check with no big deal. Whatever. I rolled a one. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> not how I wanted to enter this. You can. Someone. All it is is some guy's walking up very awkwardly. Like, you know, he's obviously approaching you guys. So whether or not it's it's no harm or not, it's awkward. He's definitely coming straight to your hut. He's walking directly for you. You guys are outside of town now. All right. Oh no, I just came searching for you because I heard you of your greatness and I wanted to learn your ways. All right, so you are able to sense that. He honestly what? came in search of you because he heard you were powerful and is a wizard. Uh, Morgan's going to roll sense motive as well. <laughs> Why? 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 What are you doing? Oh. Morgan's is curious. You got a 19? Morgan feels the same way. Morgan feels this guy is probably genuine. A little awkward, maybe. He's a, you know, he's a wizard, so, I mean, wizards are like, they wear funny capes, they're kind of goofy, uh, showy, eccentric people. Morgan's never had good luck with wizards. I just not <laughs> You've had worse luck with witches, and you're sleeping in the same house as one. But you do, but you rolled a 19, so you do get his motive. You don't think he has any, he doesn't seem to be coming with any ill intent towards you. He doesn't seem to be lying. He seems like an honest guy. All right. You keep the gun out as he approaches. He will he will approach Cersei first because Cersei is outside. All right. I mean, you can be. Morgan's still in the doorway of the hut, so Morgan's about fifteen feet away. You are now within five feet of Cersei. You've walked. You're pretty much face to face with Cersei if you'd like to. But you can see her like guard dog in the background with a gun. And there's obviously more people in the hut not doing anything. Okay. Now that you're talking to Cersei, if you'd like to introduce yourself and describe yourself to Cersei, it's a great opportunity to do so. You know what, I would be happy to do so, but he did roll a natural one. So therefore, I feel like I need to do something to maybe get him to find him, and then I'll talk to him about it. Yeah, you can feel every... I mean, you already sense his motive. He seems seems earnest, but if you feel like... I mean, you are Queen Cersei, and your whole thing is like having power over people. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I think that uh, I rolled my uh, sense motive, so I think that uh, Sazerac gets a round. Yeah, so Sazerac, at this point, like I said, can introduce Sazerac and describe who he is, what he's searching for you for, etc. Whatever, he, whatever pertinent maybe, information he feels like needs to give Cersei. Can we roll that diplomacy? Well, now you're going to do another diplomacy check with what you're saying now. Yeah. So say new things, introducing yourself, and then roll a diplomacy okay. on top of that. Or roll diplomacy and then say it, whatever yeah, you'd like to do. Yeah, another angle. Don't be like, hey, I'm talk to you and learn learn your shit. Like, maybe I don't want to tell you my shit. Like, come, okay. come at it from a different angle. Like, okay, gotcha. Bring something to the table, my friend. All right? <laughs> Classic intimidating Cersei. <laughs> Understood. Well, so how far am I? I'm five feet away from Cersei. You're about five right feet now? away from Cersei, about 15 feet away from her hut and her other allies. Can I still be, like, irritated that I had, uh, Morgan is pointing the gun at me and color sprayer him? Yeah. Well, yeah. Morgan's at her. Okay. Yeah. You can spray her if you can want. I spray her and then talk, and after I do that, introduce myself. Yeah, you have to roll okay. for initiative versus her, though. So that means okay. rolling initiative versus Morgan. And I, I would think that it, by this time, uh, Frodrick would walk outside as well. No, no, no. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Oh, Let's go with no. this. I don't want Sazerac to kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm. Not, I swear I won't kill him. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I just want to cast web. I just want to cast web on Sazerac. I just want to pin him down with a big old sticky web. 
Everyone roll initiative if you feel like getting froggy. I got an 18. You're the artisan, right? So, if you're participating. I got a 30. I don't need to be involved. You got two. Why's your initiative plus 12? All right, so everyone uh, goes Everyone I goes before Sazerac. He's a gunslinger. Gunslingers have crazy high initiative. So everyone goes before Sazerac, so whatever order that is, I don't know what order you guys got, but in that order you should go in unless you're willing to sacrifice your turn for someone else. Otherwise, whoever rolled highest goes first. That's Morgan then. What you got, Morgan? I'm gonna cast Hex Sleep and he never rolled on that, by the way. That's true. If you did if you did cast that, then that's what he needs to roll right now. And then after that he can do his other thing. If you did actually cast that, which I do remember you saying. You gotta roll a will save of twenty three. Yep. He's asleep. So Morgan's asleep, will not fire. Who is next in the row after Morgan? Harlock comes running out. Alright, Harlock. Were you next in the roll? Did you roll initiative, Harlock? He was not. He was not. So it's Cersei, and I am still floating in the air with my <laughs> ice dripping and black goo coming out from my feet five feet above the air. And I'll say, what do you want? I sense your motive. Thank you, for protect- Thank you for protecting me from your hostile friend. I just come to learn learn the ways of your greatness. I mean no ill. I'm just a simple bartender who just got out of uh, wizardry school. I don't have much else. I don't have much else to say besides that. I've heard of great adventures you have been on, and I would like to pursue those with you. No, I've already sensed his motive, and I had a very strong... Yeah, yeah you feel like he's an okay guy. You're a prostitute. You met a bunch of nice guys before. It's a nice guy. Yeah. And I know a bunch of prostitutes. Uh, yeah, the bartender. I, you know, clearly, uh, I've, I've been through wizarding school as well, so I can connect <laughs> with you on that level. I'm going to roll Intimidate check. I'm going to say, how do you feel about butt stuff? And that is an actual Holy point. shit! <laughs> However you feel about butt stuff, tune in next time for more Long Distance Dungeons & Dragons Dinner Theater!